Hey guys and welcome back to Sandy Bay. Now then, in today's video, we're going to be finishing off this field. We've pretty much just done it now. Um, and we're just going to be, well, starting on another field. Um, which i yet to decide which one it will be. Um, so, first off, let's tip uh, the contents of the combine into our trailer. Um, now I am still using the high tip trailers um, or trailer as it were um, so still just work really nicely. Um, at this farm we've filled up this silo completely. Um, this has stopped rising up out the floor um, and well haven't actually had a look yet but only 167,000 litres of barley. It looks like a lot more here. Um, 167 tons, kind of. And anyway, let's. Hmm. Let's unfold this combine. I'll fold it back up. Um, right, the next field is above here, so 28. Do we own it? I believe we do. Yeah, 28 there. And what's in it? Barley again. Do I want to do barley? It's quite a lot of barley on there, actually. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's do. Let's see if we can find an easy way to get into that field. It's just above here, it wouldn't take that long at all to do, hopefully. And the only thing is, we've got to find a way to get this thing out of here. Where is the entrance? I believe it's up there, actually. So it could be quite useful. Now, I am also wanting to do quite a bit more on this uh, YouTube channel. Um, as some of you may know, um, I am quite into my camera stuff, um, so there will be quite a few videos coming up which I've planned on camera gear and that sort of thing. Alright, stop talking a second whilst I get this combine around here, which seems like it can't. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a couple of reviews, and just kind of educational kind of videos. Um, whoa, where's that? It's quite cool that shadow on there. Um, so yeah, I am going to be starting to do a bit of camera stuff on this channel. Um, there'll be quite some quite interesting videos, some tutorials, uh, like the educational stuff, like I mentioned, and stuff like that really. Um, some GoPro stuff, and I do actually use my GoPro sometimes to get some time lapses of farming, that sort of thing. And at friends' houses and stuff, you get them there. Right. It seems the road is too small. Combine doesn't fit. Um hmm. I didn't think that would happen. And what are we stuck on now? Oh no, we're stuck there. Just straighten this thing out a bit. There we go. So the road is too small. Hmm. Jump into the fast track. Let's just go for a quick drive up there just to see. Well, if there's any other way we could get in. Well, it's the only combine we have, really. Um, could go down that other road, past the forest, or opposite the forest. Hmm, interesting. Take the fast truck up anyway, because it is barley, so we've got to get there at some point as well. Um, I honestly didn't know this road was this small. It's 
kind of annoying, really. I expected I'd be able to get around every single road on this map with that combine. That's why I bought it, but uh, obviously not. That's an issue here. This is possibly the worst field ever for getting in and out of. Sorry about it, I'm not around that wall, but it's probably protected or something. Stick beacons on. Right. Thankfully there isn't a gate on this road here. But I don't know if you can see. Tractor if it was slightly wider. If I had jaws on this, I would not be getting down. So it seems is this the entrance to the field? No. Where is it then? Um here. It's kind of okay actually. I can get the combines through there. So let's park that there. Combines, where are they? Now, hmm, I've got to go all the way on the road for this. To get the speed up. Down through there at the end there, that's it. Put the beacons on. Um, but yeah, that's slightly annoying that. And it's pretty much all the way around here. It's a fair bit. But I'll just take this combine down actually. And it's closer and then I'll just move the other one back. This is another really annoying part as well, turning out of the of this field here. In fact, no, that wasn't annoying at all. I actually got out. Nice. Makes a change. Right. Do I have any comments that I can read out? Mm, YouTube. No, wrong app again. Okay. We just stop here. Just far enough so then you just see those lights changed. Hopefully they do change. I believe they do as well. Oh yeah, they do. Nice. Um, so if we turn up here. In fact, yes, I do have some comments to read out. Um, comments, there we go. So now I I've got the email about some comments. So Christopher Lowe says, that was a mod in 2013. Now that was on the video where I did a review of the Farming Classics DLC. If you haven't seen that review, please go check it out. Um, the Farming Classics DLC has pretty much a load of classic tractors in, classic equipment, um, some quite cool pieces of equipment as well, um, such as the forage wagon um, and just the baler and that, that sort of thing. That, that really intrigued me, really. It was quite interesting. Um, and then. Uh, Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Um, there was a comment offered that, yeah, Giants converted over to FS15 because it was a big hit in FS13. I can imagine it was, yeah. Um, it is. And I did see it as well, it's done by Giants, so you kind of know it's going to be decent. Uh, they never really release anything that's uh, rubbish. Um, it's all got to be top quality with them, which is the way I like it, really. Now, sorry about this driving. This combine's a bit too big. I possibly should have got a smaller one. And um, one below this. Now, which way have I got to go? G X, what? Enable Strosworth. Yeah, that's set to the right thing. Right. I could easily do this. set this on, in fact we'll go once around the field to do a bit of work ourselves for once. Um, other comments are there. 
think that was it actually. I've kind of had a lack of comments. Um, but please, feel free to put a comment on um, the videos. It's just nice to read them really. Um, even if it's criticism, um, I'll read it and um, make the videos as good as possible. And that was it really for the comments. Um, I've also got the Instagram. Uh, please go follow that because if I don't get a video out, you guys often wonder why. Um, I know I do. If there's not a video out on a YouTube channel, I will wonder why. Um, so it's just a way to kind of keep in contact, really. Um, post questions on there or something. Facebook as well, I've got that. Um, right, 17 followers on there. Shane Riley says, love that vid on a post on Instagram. As well, that may be something I do. Um, read out comments on the Instagram photos. Um, I will try to reply to some, but I uh, can't promise anything, sorry. Um, there's also a couple of comments on the other ones. No, there wasn't. Um, so, tip number one, or 50, because this is like the only tip that keeps getting uh, told again. Don't read your phone and drive the combine. It goes wrong. <laughs> um, so yeah, they are just the... Uh, comments and that on Instagram photos, stuff like that. Um, if you've got a video as well that you'd like to see me do, um, put on Instagram just there uh, and try and just say, I'll do the video or something like that. I think oh, that's about it, really. Hmm. Pylons that are in this field. Slightly annoying to combine around. I may end up going, well, cutting it off slightly, because I know I can't get it combined around there. Easily, anyway. I can get it round, but uh, driving will be rather erratic. So, that, yeah, I'll probably just grass that corner over easier. Hmm, so, we do have actually done quite a lot of barley on here. I am looking at possibly getting cows and a couple of other animals. Uh, let's set this on auto combine. Because there is something I do want to buy, which will be very useful. And it is, in fact, the JCB. Now, you may be wondering why. Um, I already have a telehandler, why would I need another loader? Simply because I've got quite a lot of grain which actually does need to be sold at some point. Um, so it's just easier to buy something that can move it easier than uh, the JCB. That seems that is the best uh, one to buy. So get them delivered because I hate using the word reset it makes it sound like I've done something really bad and killed the tractor or something let's turn that off um, so I will be using this to feed the cows when we get some um, pretty much loading up trailers because um, it's easier to use and get although you haven't got a reach on it if I needed reach, I'd use the uh, telehandler. But I got this instead. Uh, let's see how much that heat there I can actually pick up with this bucket. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of wheat in there, actually. A bit more than I thought there actually was. It's also got this special tipping function, which I kind of do like. Um, it makes it a bit different, really. Right then. I think possibly park this in this shed because I'm not really going to be using it. Open the doors. Hmm. Slightly different that. Let's have a look at how much corn there actually is.
I want to I want to do some corn actually. Um, it's just uh, just quite nice to do really. Um, so we'll look at doing that at some point. Let's just part the JCB here. I'll put the bucket at an awkward angle. So if someone did nick it, they wouldn't be able to. Right. Come on, where are you? Over there. I didn't actually set it going, did I? Now I have. Um something else I wanted to do but I've forgotten. Hmm. Oh well, I'll just have to wait. I'm gonna have a look over here. Um so this is the dairy. Um, and I do want to kind of start it early on. Uh, it just makes it easier. What's in this field here? Oh, I don't even know, and it's at no point looking. Um, so, uh, yeah, I do want to start as cows kind of now. Just makes it easier. Um, get about uh, 50 cows. And then, and I've sorted then. Um, we, don't, we probably won't get all uh, more for a while, but at least we will have some. Okay, then you see the lighthouse from here. It's quite a good view. Let's just have a look down here. This is in fact a field, so we could cut that at some point. Now we do have the mowers, so it makes it easier. Now. Combine. Oh, it's there. So, we don't need to turn around at all. It's already where we need it. Is that going to back up at some point? I hope it does. Nah. Nah, mate. You're not doing it right. Mm. Now. We need a drill that can do maze, and in fact a header that can do maze. I don't think we have one. Did we buy that one? No, we didn't. Disappointing. That one anyway, we've got to think about um, sizes of headers on here as well. Mm -hmm. That combine would be quite good. Um, anyway, I don't think there are any fields on here which currently have maze in them. But yes, there is. Field 16. Let's jump in the land rover, we'll go buy that. Um, in fact, no, I'll stop recording now and start again for the next episode. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode on Sandy Bay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video as it really does help. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.